friends, hope all is well with you. Today I want to do a quick unboxing of our new curriculum, but first I quickly wanted to tell you about what we were using, which was Math Mammoth from my oldest. It's um, a pretty inexpensive curriculum, and um, we worked our way through it, but it just, it was a struggle to get through this, and I wish I had just kind of stopped sooner, but I didn't want to just switch up. I wanted to make sure that, you know, we were really trying and not just kind of giving up and giving in when things got a little challenging. Um, so we used this, but like I said, it just wasn't really working for us. We use, um, it's pretty worksheet um, intensive and I use Homeschool Planet to organize our, um, and to plan. So I'll go ahead and focus there for you so you can see that. Um, and then, I'm showing you this because when you go into it, I just chose a random day. Um, you can see the if you use Homeschool Planet, you can purchase the publisher's um, suggested pace. And so to tell him, you know, this is the day and then they might have a, an instruction video and then they have a game. And so he can just click on the game on his laptop and play that and while that's cool it just I think he needed more hands-on um, manipulatives and now I could have implemented that and I did but um, that's a lot of that's a lot of work and I'm still new to this homeschooling thing so I felt a little intimidated trying to do that and I wanted something a little more scripted and I know that um, that's not always best but for me right now that's what I felt the best about so I'm going to talk about why I chose right start in a, in a minute um, but what I was using for my youngest is the good and the beautiful math course which does come with a lot of hands-on manipulatives and he was just flying through it loved it I love it it's um, gorgeous it's not too too pricey but it's not super inexpensive whereas this one's like $17 this one's like a hundred and something but it, like I said it comes with a whole box of manipulatives and you can see a review of that on YouTube or go to the good and the beautiful's website and see what all is included in the kit um so he this is book one there's actually have book two but he was just flying through it so I thought you know what since one is struggling a little bit and one is um you know doing moving right along I would try to just teach them both at once in a more game-based, multi-sensory, like hands-on um, curriculum. And so this has mixed reviews, but I'm really excited about it. I went to a um, homeschool store and I wanted to put my hands on it. So I bought this book secondhand. I think individually it's like 75. I got this for like 45 and I had some stuff on consignment. So it was actually even cheaper. Um, but you see like the lessons are pretty are pretty laid out for you. It gives you um, what to do, what to say, why you're doing what you're doing. And I think they only do worksheets like every few, um, every few lessons. So this, ex this curriculum is pretty expensive. I justified it to myself and then I'm using it for both of the kids. Uh, it's like 240 something and I bought it through the um, homeschool co-op so that I could get points and I use those points to actually get our art curriculum that we're going to start using. So let's see, I'm just trying to kind of open up so you can see. This is level B. This is the second book. Um, and so now I'm just going to show you what's in the box. All right, so my kids are yelling downstairs, so you'll hear them in the background. But I'm going to try to do this pretty quickly and just take everything out. So here is more about the curriculum looks like and tutoring. Um, that was just probably their checklist for putting things in the box. These are tally sticks. This is like a songbook, I believe. Um, yeah. My kids are probably past this, but um, it would probably be good for them to look at the pictures of the abacus. Um, let's see. Here are geometry panels. Here are some U.S. coins. Now, um, when you order the kit, you can choose, I believe it's Canadian or U.S. There might be another country I'm not sure but I think it's just Canadian or US um, so yeah rubber bands I believe these go to the geo boards that come with it 
these um, are there abacuses, I guess? <laughs> um, so it does say if you're going to teach multiple students that you need, they each need to have one and that they each need to have a clock. Now I ordered one from them and I got one from our local homeschool store and they are the same, but they're different. They just have different, uh, logos on them, but they're the same. It was just cheaper to do it that way. Um, this is a geo reflector. Here are some geometric solids and they are solid. They feel pretty heavy in hand. Yes. Uh, here are geo boards. Huh. Looks like there's a little activity. This is actually, um, I think the song or songs that go with the, uh, Yellow is the sun book here. But here are the geo boards, and I just took out the rubber bands that go with them. Um, tangrams, there's some red and blue. A calculator. Let's see. Oh, you also need, if you're teaching multiple students, um, another another set of place value cards. So I have two of these. And while they're little, they're actually really, really sturdy. I wasn't expecting them to be that sturdy from online. So you can kind of see the, um, barely, <laughs> but they're strong. Trust me. Um, here are some abacus tiles. This is what they look like. These are the cards. So this is like a multi-sensory kind of, from my understanding, game-based curriculum. We love games, love, love games. My kids actually keep up with the pieces to our board games because I love games so much. So I'm excited that we're going to be able to play our way through math essentially and, um, you know, just have them get, um, be confident for those higher maths because they love science and they will need it. Uh, we just went on a field trip to NC State, their engineering department, and the kids talk, well kids, the students talked to us about how um, much math was important and to kind of hang in there through the lower mass until you get to the fun mass, they called them. So um, my son was like, I want to get to the fun mass. Let's work our way through the basics. So I just wanted to be fun. Anyway, here are, um, this kit actually goes up to sixth grade. So you only have to buy this box of manipulatives once and then just the workbooks and the teacher manual for each level you, as you go. These are fraction cards. They seem pretty sturdy. So a folding meter stick, and that'll be fun. These are colored tiles. Here are some centimeter cubes. And we already have some centimeter cubes and tens and hundreds and thousands blocks, um, but these came with it. So it was cheaper to get it all. I tried to piecemeal and shop different places. It just is not worth it, I promise you. I, I like to find a deal. It was not worth it. This was the better deal. Expensive, but still the better deal. Here's the other place value cards for the other kid. Here are the instructions for all the math games. So I am definitely looking forward to that. A lot of instructions though. And then here is the actual workbook. Now I placed an order for two of these. I only see one. I heard their customer service was really good so I probably could just contact them and see what was up. But as you can see, it's not that much for a whole level. It's not that many. It's not that many pages. Um, and there's, my understanding, there's not a, not even a worksheet to go with every lesson. So I'm loving that because I'm not a big fan of busy work. Um, we do do worksheets and we do do handwriting and things like that. Some may consider busy work, but just pages on end of math, that's, just, that's not fun for me either. I like math and that's not fun for me. Um, math balance. So this one is actually what came with the curriculum. I kind of peeked into it already um but it's the same thing in this box i ordered this one on amazon so they can each have one it doesn't say that each kid needs to have one i just thought it would be easier while we're doing lessons for them to both have one to be working on um and since i only have two kids 
I can afford to do that. If you had more kids you were teaching at one time, they might just have to share. <laughs> you might just have to get two and they, they share. Um, but now the box is empty. That was it. But you see, you get a whole lot. Um, and I'm excited about this. I'm so excited. I pray that this brings us joy in our homeschool and that our math and that will, it will have been worth the investment. If you can find this um, secondhand, I think that's great. I could not find all the manipulative secondhand. And so it made more sense for me just to get the book and buy the kit. Um, you can get the workbook. If you buy the kit, you can order the elect electronic workbook. So you can just get... Um, the files for it and print it out. Um, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to now figure out how I want to organize all of this stuff and I will share that with you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will be back with more. Aiden, it's up me put the balance, the math balance together. I've done one. And now he's tackling the other. Thanks, bud. <laughs>